Welcome to the New Age and Orientation. And um, as I said, today we're going to be going over uh, the intro to Keller Williams. I'm going to go through and show you who's here to help you and what the roles are for the office um, leadership and staff. Uh, go over some general office policies and procedures. Uh, give you an example of the e-agency and e-edge tools provided. Those are the different websites that Keller Williams has available for you, as well as additional resources that are available. General office information is listed here. Uh, our office address is 422 Century Park Drive, uh, Yuba City, 95991. There is no suite or room number. We have the whole building. Uh, the main office phone number uh, to call in would be 530-674-6800, as well as 674-4300. Uh, All of the phone numbers that call into the office do go through the front desk, and then um, I'll transfer the calls to whoever it is you're trying to get a hold of. If you're here in the office working and you have a client call you here at the main number, I can transfer to whatever extension you're currently sitting at for the day. Uh, the office fax number is 530-674-7092. Um, that number goes through to the main copy machine at the center of the building. Uh, if you are um, expecting a fax and you're not going to be in the office during the day, uh, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email, let us know, and um, I can scan the fax over to you through email. I generally do check it several times a day to see if any faxes come through and we'll email it over depending on who the recipient is. Um, although I noticed that most of most of the correspondence now generally does go through the scan and email process, but some people still fax. Uh, business hours for the staff is Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. That is when um, myself, Justin, um, and Leanne are here in the building. Um, Generally, other agents will work um, different hours, so there's usually someone here in the building after hours. Not always, but usually after five. And then there's the almost always one or two people working on the weekends as well. So uh, when you come in, uh, expect staff to be here Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, but don't be surprised if there's other people working past those hours or on the weekends. On the weekend, if you need to... Um, on the weekend, if you need to call in to the uh, for help, uh, because there won't be anybody here in the office, generally the best person to call, it's usually a broker question or a contract question, so the best person to call would be Rick Walsh. Um, his phone number is 845-0083, and um, he'll be available to help you, like I said, with any contract or transaction questions. Um, the only thing to note is that he doesn't answer his phone after 9 p.m. Uh, so uh, if you need to get a hold of him, make sure you call before then. Okay, next we're going to be um, going over a video, uh, the history of Keller Williams as told by uh, our founder, Gary Keller. And he's going to go through and give you a brief history about um, how Keller Williams was started and why. Hi, I'm Gary Keller, and I'm here to share with you the history of our company, Keller Williams Realty. Keller Williams is unique. We put our agents first and work tirelessly to identify and meet their needs. We are simply one of the most innovative and successful real estate companies on the planet. The Keller Williams was a grand experiment in my life, and the origins of this company have their roots in my early experiences in the real estate business. On the advice of my dad, I got a degree in marketing and real estate with a specialization, particularly in real estate and insurance from Baylor University. In 1979, I graduated and came to Austin, Texas, and got into the real estate business. I eventually went into management, and because I loved teaching and helping people and achieve their business and life goals, I decided to make a career of leadership and management training. By the time I was 26, I was the vice president of expansion of Austin's largest real estate company at that time. And then I quit. The vision of the company I was with was that their agents work for the company. And I'd constantly tell the owner at that time that I believed the company worked for the agent. If they just focused on building the agents and treating them right, like, then they would build the company bigger than they ever did. Companies are nothing more than people. 
people create everything inside an organization. And what's going to make us better in the long term is the way that our people think. Our goal is to tap the way people think, take advantage of that, that thought process, and put it to use for everybody. So in 1983, the experiment began. I left where I was, and I partnered with Joe Williams, a great guy. And we started Keller Williams Realty with just a handful of agents and some pulpit tables and chairs. By the end of the first year, we had netted over $100,000 and put it in the bank. In two years, we grew to over 70 associates and had become Austin's largest single office real estate company and number 10 in the market overall. And then the market fell out. It was 1986. We shrunk from over 70 associates to below 40 associates. And although we were still profitable, a new competitor moved to town and five of my top 10 associates plus my entire administrative staff walked out the door. To meet the new challenges in the market and stand up to my competition, I knew I had to reinvent Keller Williams. True to my beliefs, I started with agents. Gathering my top 13 associates, I asked this question. How can we run the company in such a way that you achieve everything that you want, and at the same time, we achieve everything we want? And here's what we came up with. The best possible commission structure we could think of to be treating the agents like business partners, to profit share with access to the financial information, formalized input into how the business should be run for an agent leadership council, and supporting management who consults and promotes teamwork, the highest level of training we could think of. Now, we implemented these ideas in less than two years. Our company became number one in our market. Positive, never to be relinquished yet. Putting agents first was obviously a successful model. So we took it even further by devising a plan to organize top agents into a series of agent leadership councils, formally at the local, city, regional, and international levels. Most people think we're crazy when we share with them that we've actually turned the entire company's decision-making process over to our associates in tandem with our managers. But we have. The Agent Leadership Council, the ALC, was set up so that our salespeople could directly impact most of the decisions and all of the decisions that impact them. Now, this revolutionary step gave Keller tremendous credibility and was a catalyst for more actions aimed at putting agents in the driver's seat. Our open books policy, standardized accounting procedures, and published results, the result was growth. We began franchising in 1991 and expanded to Canada in 1998 by working one-on-one -on -one with masterminding with hundreds of top agents from across the country. We created a set of models that became the foundation of my first book, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent, which I published in 2004. The book hit a nerve, found an audience. There were like-minded agents all over North America who found the answers they've been looking for in that book. In the second half of the decade, as the crazy run-up in real estate prices started to backfire, Keller Williams Realty and our associates were uniquely positioned to seize the shift as an opportunity for growth. You see, Keller Williams Realty got its start during a lot of the real estate market. And the hard-fought lessons that we learned during those years have really stayed with us. So we published Shift, which was a follow-up to the Mayor Real Estate. And we set forth a 12-point action plan for how top agents tackle really tough times. Shift became a national New York Times bestseller as our company and our agents took it up a notch outpacing the market and proving that the market doesn't dictate whether or not we succeed. It only tells us how we're going to succeed. We launched the Luxury Homes Division, which extended our reach into that segment of the market. We created Keller Williams Commercial, which is now the fastest growing commercial real estate company in North America. Pursuing our dream to bring the Keller Williams opportunity to the world, we opened Keller Williams Worldwide, and it laid the groundwork for overseas expansion. Ensuring that our associates have what it takes to serve their clients and run their businesses with technological tools that are unmatched in the industry, we responded to the insights of the most tech-savvy associates among us and developed eEdge, one paperless loop for lead management, contact management, marketing, and transaction management. We're not a company that sits still, and it's all because Keller Realty is in the hands of smart, determined, forward-thinking agents such as you. We're here to serve you. We're very proud to be in business with you. And we're so glad you've decided to join us on this unbelievable ride. Okay, this next video I have to show you is um, a video on uh, Keller Williams culture. As told by Mo Anderson, uh, she is, um, 
believe one of the the chair chairperson now, or uh, she's on the board. Uh, she's one of the initial uh, leaders of Keller Williams, and um, her biggest um, the biggest thing that she's involved when involved with recently is uh, Keller Williams culture. So. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mo. As new members of our Keller Williams family, it's really important for you to understand who we are as a company, and to understand that, you need to experience our culture. So, what is the Keller Williams culture? Culture is living the mission, vision, values, beliefs, and perspectives of Keller Williams Realty not just saying them, but living them. We like to call these the MVVVP. Let's talk about each one individually. The mission of Keller Williams Realty is to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, and lives worth living. To build a career worth having means to work in a profession that promotes and funds your passion in life. To build a business worth owning simply means it needs to be profitable. A business that isn't profitable isn't worth owning. Now to have a life worth living means to live your passion and live for your big why in life each and every single day, whatever that big why might be for you. And the vision of Keller Williams Realty is what we believe the world will look like once we've accomplished our mission. Our vision is to be the real estate company of choice. Let's talk about the values of Keller Williams Realty. Our values are what we believe in and what we value above all else. And at Keller Williams, we value God and family first, and then business. One of the most important aspects that we cherish in our company is our diversity. We believe diversity makes us strong, and we support you and your individual beliefs and faiths, and we hope that all of our associates can put their faiths and their own families before the business each and every day. We believe real estate is a local service business, and we believe our associates should be treated like stakeholders. And we believe stakeholder companies always measure profit or loss, open the books, and tell the truth. And we believe who you are in business with really does matter. <laughs> we believe profit matters. And we believe no transaction is worth our reputation. And these are our values. At Keller Williams Realty International, we proudly and fondly refer to our beliefs as the Y4C2T. And these are the rules we live by, and they dictate how we will work together and how we will treat each other. The W stands for win-win or no deal. The I stands for integrity. Do the right thing. Now there are four C's, and the first C stands for customers. They always come first. And the second C means commitment in all things. The third C is communication. Seek first to understand. And the final C is creativity. Ideas before results. There are two T's and they stand for teamwork. Together, everyone achieves more, and trust, it begins with honesty. And the S stands for success, results, 
three people. And finally, our perspective. Perspective is how you see yourself. It's the reality of your situation right now. And for Keller Williams Realty, we are a training and consulting company that also provides the franchise systems, products, and services that lead to productivity and profitability. At Keller Williams Realty, we support you, we will love you, and we will encourage you to create your own personal mission, vision, values, beliefs, and perspective. This MVVVP can be your guiding light, not only in your life, but also in your business. Okay. So this is just a snapshot of everything that she talked about, uh, our mission, vision, values, and belief. Uh, most of this information can also be found online, um, and it is in the um, it is in the New Age and Start Guide that I passed out to you guys. They're sent out to you as an email, um, and you'll hear this referred back to over and over and over in a lot of the training and uh, items that you um, encounter going through color rooms. All right, so moving on to who's here to help me. Uh, we'll start with our team leader, Leanne Casey, and uh, her contact information is on the screen. Uh, I don't think I have her cell phone number on here, but you can also reach her by cell phone at 530-755-7781. And um, you would speak with Leanne or see Leanne um, about any recruiting opportunities. So if you encounter an agent uh, out as you're working um, that you feel would be a good fit for Keller Williams, pass along the name to her and she can contact them and, um, you know, set up an interview and, you know, maybe approach them about seeing if they're interested in joining Keller Williams. Uh, so recruiting and the referral of agents. And then um, she can also help with any, some consulting or, if you, have, you know, you want to have, talk things over with anybody or go over anything um, and then um, she can help you out or show you where to go to get more information about business planning and um, also team development. Rick Walsh is our broker and um, as I said earlier you would see him with any of your broker questions. Uh, if you need the broker signature on any of your forms uh, that you fill out, uh, occasionally there's um, and when you renew your license, you'll need to get his signature. Um, there's occasionally documents that require a broker signature. So if you need his signature, uh, please see him. Uh, he also is in charge of file compliance. So um, he's ultimately responsible for making sure that everyone's files are um, complete. All your escrow files are complete and missing files. They have all of the correct forms, contracts, disclosures, things like that. Um, I believe you received the information when you signed up what the our recommended file compliance is it's in line with what the BRE um, requires. So we just make sure that uh, if you have a listing, that you have the listing agreement signed and it's on file within 48 hours here in the office. Um, if you get an offer and put a offer accepted on your listing or if you put in an offer and the offer is accepted and escrow is opened, uh, that file also needs to be kept here in the office. And then um, as it's completed and getting ready to close, it does need to be reviewed uh, at least five days before closing to make sure that all of the necessary paperwork is completed. Um, as you're going through the mentor program, uh, Joe should help you with your first four or five transactions, whatever it is. And so he will help you make sure that all of those are complete. You also have the um, option of having a, a TC help you with your files, a transaction coordinator, when, you, when you're done with the mentorship program. And um, we have two TCs here in the office, uh, Dawson, who works in the office, and then Chris, who comes in a couple days a week, and they would help you with your files, make, ensuring that all of the documents are uh, in the file, all the disclosures, everything is signed, and uh, that everything that's needed uh, is ready to go.
moving on and who's here to help me. Um, Justin Ryder is our Market Center Administrator. Uh, you'll hear him referred to as the MCA. And he is in charge of all of the financial information for the office. Uh, basically, he does all of the accounting, the budgets, in the, all the um, uh, billing and um, anything anything financial related. Uh, he can help you pull up the uh, reports by anniversary year, year-to-date production and sold info as you're going through um, your business. Uh, he can answer your profit share questions. Uh, he is responsible for the uh, insurance policy, so if you have a question, um, especially regarding the like E&O insurance, that sort of thing, uh, he can provide the answers. He also helps with the internal office procedures. He does the agent um, agent office bills every month, so uh, if you have a question about your office bill, please see him. And then. Um, issuing keys to the building and the alarm code. Have you both received your key and alarm code? Okay, we'll get yours to you today, Randy. Um, the key will allow you to access the building if it's locked and the alarm code will allow you to get in without setting, you know, get in without setting the alarm off. And uh, those can be used anytime the office is closed. There isn't, a, there isn't a time lock restriction on them or anything. So you can use those as long as, um, as long as the, um, as long as you have them. Do you want a donut? Sure. You guys hungry? Shall we brought snacks? Do you want a donut? Oh, okay. Do you want a donut? Okay, one later. Thanks, Shelly. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> All right. Um, and then the most important thing that Justin does is the demands to escrow, revisions to escrow, and the release of commission checks. So um, this is basically all about getting paid. As you um, after you have your file in uh, your transaction in escrow, um, basically the, the the steps are to complete a green sheet, which is um, a, a worksheet that we provide to you with all of the information for your transaction. So it has the property information, address, sell price, commission rates, uh, the other uh, realtor, um, the other agent on the other side of the transaction, uh, any information about um, deductions off of the off of the transaction. So if um, you're paying a TC off of the transaction or the broker fee that comes out of every transaction, those sort of thing, anything that's splitting the check up gets entered onto the green sheet. Justin complete, inserts the green sheet into the computer and puts it in the computer and then prints out a commission demand and provides that to title and escrow. That way when the um, transaction closes and escrow is closed, docs are signed and it's recorded, uh, title knows who to, title and escrow knows who to uh, release the checks to, cut the checks and send them to the office. Uh, checks are immediately given to the agents as long as um, your file has been reviewed and it is complete. So that's why it does need to be on file at least five days prior to closing so that there is time to review it for compliance. Um, but as, as I said, if you're working with a mentor or if you're using a transaction coordinator, they will take care of all of that for you and help you with all that. Next up is me. Uh, as I told you earlier, I am the office concierge. Uh, here's a slight list of some of the duties that I, I um, complete. I handle all of the incoming office calls, distribute incoming mail packages and faxes, stock the supplies, so for the copy machines here in the building, as well as break room and um, restroom supplies. I do keep those stocked, so if you notice that something is low or missing, please let me know so that I can make sure it gets ordered and replaced. Um, I can help you out with general questions. Uh, about Keller Williams or you know, any general questions you have if I don't know the answer. Um, I'm usually pretty good about finding someone to answer it for you or telling you who to see to get the correct answer. Uh, I handle putting together the training calendar um, and also schedule speakers and instructors for the training classes and the team meetings. I uh, help the new agent sign up and orientation, give assistance with website, email, intranet, and phone training. Uh, I can help you with the office machines and shared computers. So um, we have the, the main printer over here in the middle of the building. There's also two drop-in computers available for you guys to use as you come in. Um, so if you need help using those, let me know. And then um, if you plan on working on a laptop, bringing that in with you, I can um, 
make sure that, that your the print drivers get set up and that the Wi-Fi passwords and everything get entered in so that you can uh, hook up to the printer and print stuff here in the building, that sort of thing. Uh, I also handle ordering your initial name badge and business cards. So, um, Ashley, yours are on order and should be arriving shortly. And I know they figured out the problem with the business cards, so those will be those are on their way. I spoke to them yesterday, and then um, after orientation today, Randy, we'll go through and um, make sure I get your business cards ordered as well. Uh, yours will be. I, I still need a picture. I temporarily lost your card. Your email from it, but I found it this morning. Um, your business card will follow the same template as the rest of the Walsh Real Estate Group. So I'll just go over that with you and make sure I have all of the information uh, to put on the card. So I don't get those ordered for you this week as well. Um, and then the other thing I also help out with is reserving the training room and the conference rooms. So if you um, are meeting any clients or other agents uh, here in the office and you need a meeting space to meet with them, we do have the two conference rooms available on the other side of the building. There's a smaller room uh, that's usually good for two to maybe three people. Um, if you have more than two or three people, the conference room across from that is available with the big oval table and that room seats uh, anywhere from six plus however many chairs you can get in there. So if you are meeting anybody and you need to reserve one of those rooms, just let me know. And um, that way I can make sure no one hops in and takes it before you before you get here. Um, and then training room as well can be reserved as long as it's not already being used for training classes. Joe Morales is in charge of our mentorship program. His official title is Director of Mentorship. Uh, he handles walking uh, prospective agents through the internship program, getting them all signed up, going through the classes, and um, making sure they get their uh, application filled out and sent off to get their uh, test date and everything. Um, he holds career nights to give information about the internship program and uh, explain to people uh, what it takes to become to get your real estate license and the steps to follow. Um, and then he handles the mentor program. Once an agent gets their license and comes to the um, comes to the office, he will help them through their first uh, four, I forget if it's four or five transactions, um, going through and making sure that uh, the, the offer gets written, the contracts get written correctly, the offer's written, everything is, you know, completed and to compliance standards. Um, he will walk new agents through setting up their MLS and uh, the wind forms and uh, all of that basic computer stuff. Uh, and then he can handle other general training and troubleshooting questions as well. Joe is in the office um, three afternoons a week, I believe. Uh, one to five, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Tuesdays, he usually teaches a few classes. So there's a con usually a contracts class, or excuse me, Thursdays. There's usually a contracts class Thursday afternoon, um, as well as he'll hold a round table session to answer questions. And then um, I believe he's teaching a later class for um, interns, just helping them go through their study guides and questions and things like that. So uh, I have his direct number on here. Um, if you need to get a hold of them, I have a cell phone number up at the front desk as well, in case you don't already have it. Roxana, oops, Roxana Shad is our um, in-house lender, and uh, she has an office here on the other side of the building. Uh, if you walk past the entryway and go towards the right instead of the left, and um, her and her assistant are available to uh, help you and your clients out with uh, buyer pre-qualification, uh, loan questions, explaining the different types of loans, uh, the difference between FHA and conventional or VA, um, what the different, what the interest rates are, uh, what the different qualifications are, criteria regarding each of the loans. Uh, she can also help out with marketing. So if you need flyers for an open house or for door knocking, uh, her assistant can create flyers for you, uh, as well as provide open house signs if you're holding an open house um, over the weekend or any, any time really. Um, she does have open house signs that she will loan out for um, agents to use. And then um, she holds periodic training events 
going through um, just general understanding loans. And then um, she occasionally holds like a lunch and learn or get together uh, with special training topics that are usually mortgage related as well. And um, she can be reached through the main number um, and then I can transfer you to her extension. Or if you grab one of her business cards before you leave today, you can get her cell phone number from there as well. Uh, last but not least is the Agent Leadership Council. Uh, in the video we watched earlier, you heard Gary Keller talk about the ALC. Um, these are a group of agents here in the office that basically help with a lot of the decision making and um, help run the office in uh, partnership with the uh, ownership group and the leadership staff. And uh, our ALC uh, meets once a month on the third Thursday of every month uh, to go over uh, various office topics, uh, including Market Center financials, policies and guidelines, mm -hmm. uh, office procedures, and office operations um, are also discussed. Uh, generally, uh, agents that are a part of the ALC rank in the top 20% of the Market Center and um, are usually invited by the team leader and the ownership group to um, join or interview to join the ALC. I'm going to go back to the pictures to tell you what each one is responsible for. Um, these are the five members that we currently have and um, each of them has a uh, committee that they help chair or help run here in the office. Um, so if you're interested in joining any of these following committees, you can uh, uh, talk with that agent and get more information. Uh, Carmelita Silva is uh, responsible for the financial committee. She, her and Justin go over the, um, the P&L and the budget and make sure that the office is um, you know, running smoothly and effectively and that we're not overspending or underspending and making sure that we're following our budget uh, guidelines uh, and uh, also ways to increase profitability for the market center and agents. Cal Joe Hall is uh, responsible for the education committee. So uh, we meet once a month to go over the training calendar and um, make sure that we have a list of classes ready to go for the following month, as well as instructors to teach those classes. Uh, if you have any um, ideas for class topics that you'd like to, um, if you any class topics that you'd like to. Um, uh, see on the training calendar, or um, if you, you know any suggestions, please let her know, or any basically any feedback on any classes that we have, uh, let her or myself know. Uh, if you're interested in joining the education committee so you can help plan the classes, uh, let us know as well. Uh, but it's always available for new members to join. Uh, Rick Walsh is responsible for the growth committee. Uh, he helps uh, a lot with how to grow the office. Uh, agent wise and then also as well as agent growth for different ways that our individual agents can grow and um, you know be more successful uh, in their own business as well. Shanna and Steve uh, mainly handle the tech committee uh, so a lot of the tech stuff. Steve Hurley is actually an agent in our Grass Valley office um, and then Shanna is here in, in this office and um, Shanna leads a lot of the tech classes that we have every month um, as well as she's always on the lookout for new tech ideas and different ways that you can um, help your business by using technology that sort of thing uh, as well and she'll she is available to help troubleshoot and um, answer questions uh, technology related questions uh, if Justin or myself are not available all right we're moving on to uh, Items available through kw.com. I'm uh, moving into a lot of the tech stuff. Uh, kw.com is where you are going to access pretty much everything that we're going to be talking about going forward. Uh, your main, this is your main point of reference to access the uh, agent websites. So you have the uh, eEdge Market Leader website, which is where you're going to um, hopefully capture some leads. Uh, it's a, it's a can help capture leads when uh, buyers go on to do a property search. It's also where you're going to um, compile your database so that you can do um, your CRM tasks through there, all of your uh, 
con your contact, basically your contact management uh, system. Uh, you'll be able to send out marketing pieces and um, set up your, your database on um, different campaigns so that they receive marketing pieces uh, periodically once or twice a month. That way they are reminded that you are an agent and um, who to call when they have uh, any um, real estate needs at all. Um, and then you also have the e-agency website and then KWLS. Uh, KWLS and e-agency will be going over those as well over the orientation. Um, I'll explain those more in depth. Um, one of the main things to do to get started would be to update your KW profile uh, through KW.com. This is going to be your main profile that goes onto the KW.com website. So if uh, Clients are on the KW.com website looking for agents. You can type in your name and pull up all of your contact information, your profile picture, different things like that. Um, it's also where other agents will um, get the information uh, if they are need to do a referral. Uh, Keller Williams is really big on referring out um, clients to other agents in areas. Uh, if you have, let's say, an agent that, or somebody has an, somebody from another state has an agent that they need, or client, an agent has a client that they need uh, to help buy a house. Uh, what that agent will do is um, usually go online and check out the profiles of our agents to see if there's somebody that can help, or they'll contact the broker or the team leader for um, for suggestions. But having your profile up to date basically helps to give other agents more background information so they know who is. Uh, going to who they want to give their referral to. Um, there is a whole wealth of other information available on kw.com. Uh, the only other main thing I want you to be aware of through there um, is the KW Connect videos. Um, that is where you're going to find a lot of your training information. And uh, these videos are all on demand, so you can watch them at any time at your leisure, uh, whenever you have time to. Um, devote to some training. What's nice about these videos is that they are, um, they're all set up by category and most of the videos are anywhere from two to 10 minutes long, some as much as maybe 15 or 20 minutes, but they're broken down into pieces so that you can um, get the information that you need um, without having to maybe watch a whole hour at one time. You can break up the break up the segment into different pieces. So um, please make sure you check out the KW Connect videos, um, there's pretty much a video for every training topic that you could possibly imagine. What we're looking at now is a snapshot of the um, My Market Center internet. And um, this is basically the, what the local office uses to um, give information out to our agents. So um, you'll notice on here that there's a spot in the middle for agent posts, and then there's a spot over here on the side for the training calendar. And um, you can access this web this page from anywhere, um, you know, from you know, from home, from any computer. You don't have to be here in the office to access it. So if you um, have an announcement that you'd like to um, post for all of the agents to see, or if you need to look up member information, you can do that from here as well. Um, as I said, the training calendar, if you don't have a hard copy of the training calendar, you can um, look up all of the training classes. What's also nice about this training calendar is you can sync the training calendar to your Gmail um, calendar or an Outlook calendar. And um, with your kw.com email address, you get the Google Apps for Business. To, um, the kw.com email is provided by Google, and so um, if you aren't already using a web-based calendar, now would be a good time to start. Um, and you can sync the you can sync this calendar with that kw.com calendar as well, um, or your personal one. It doesn't matter, but that way you'll always know when the training classes are. And um, there's it really it's a really quick, easy to easy to follow step on how to sync the calendars. And then finally, um, not only can you make announcements, but you can promote open houses. Uh, if you have a home for sale or just listed or coming soon, you can put that on the back office internet or the My Market Center internet. And um, if you're looking for something, 
Uh, if you have a client that's looking for a house uh, with specific requirements, you can post that on there as well uh, for agents to read. And agents get this information by going to the My Market Center um, internet or by getting the um, daily email that gets sent out with all of the alerts of it shows anything that's changed on that page for that day. So uh, information is pretty easy for everybody to find. <clears throat> Moving on to the um, websites that Keller Williams has available, I'm going to briefly go over the eAgency website and the eEdge website, and then there's actually a, a very informative eEdge video for you guys to watch that shows you how to use the eEdge website from start to finish. Most of the agents, I would say the majority of the agents are not using this current website that you see on the screen, the eAgency website. Um, is mainly seen as a... Um, a website for your have met so it has all of the buying and selling resources on it you can link blogs you can put links to blogs on it um, and then additional resources any information that you want to provide to your clients but it's basic basically this website as it says it's to promote your value proposition so this is what you would give to your anybody that you know if they just want to go and find information or research information about finding a home um, it is very customizable you can change all of the links that are on the right hand side, um, excuse me, the left hand side, you can change all of the information in the middle, you can even change the layout, the font, the pictures, the color, um, everything can be changed through the uh, admin section. You can also have this uh, website customized by a technology company like Brandco or um, uh, Michael Trithart team. <coughs> um, I believe, though, those deals generally cost anywhere from $500 to a couple thousand dollars to do, uh, but it, it can be customized yourself um, fairly easily if you choose to. Um, the main thing that this website doesn't do, that the eEd website does, is um, this website doesn't have the marketing piece attached to it, and it also doesn't have the um, lead registration, the lead capture. The eEd website that we're looking at right now um, is a buyer's resource, and um, this is for anybody that you haven't met. You can market this website on your business cards, on po postcards that you send out, flyers, on your Facebook page, pretty much anywhere. And if a um, person clicks on the link and goes to view properties and do a property search, um, it allows the, the website allows them to, to do home searches, but after the first two property views, it will require that client or that lead to um, enter in their first and last name and their email address. Once that information is captured, that lead is sent over to you as a um, new lead for you to contact and to hopefully convert into a, um, hopefully you can convert that into an active, um, an active client versus just a, versus just a pending lead. Um, so this is the website that especially a lot of our newer agents start off by using just because it ties everything in together. Um, and so this is the website that I have on your business cards. And um, what's nice is that you once you get it all set up and customized with your, you, don't, you only have to fill out like your name and email address and phone numbers and all that sort of thing and add your profile picture. Once it's customized, it's pretty much you're set up and ready to go and you don't have to change anything uh, unless you're adding, adding new clients to your database. So pretty easy to use. Um, what I'm going to do is show you a video on that. Uh, what is the edge? And this is video is going to go through and tell you how to use this website from start to finish, basically. eEdge is the real estate industry's first and only complete lead to close agent business solution. It includes lead management and routing capabilities, full contact management, a professional marketing library, and a true paperless transaction system, all in one integrated efficiency increasing package. When we take a look at our lives today, we most likely find that we are managing way too many separate systems, multiple databases, too many logins and passwords, and each system disconnected from each other. eEdge changes this game forever, with just one login to one system to manage your entire business from the time you receive a lead through the closing. Four main components make up eEdge, my leads, my contacts, my marketing, and my transactions. 
each prominently displayed in the control panel built directly into the MyKW homepage. Let's follow Elite as it moves seamlessly through the eEdge system. This is Sally Seller. She wants to know the value of her home, so she logs onto your website. At this point, she has raised her hand. After she inquires, her contact information is added to the My Leads dashboard as a new lead. At the same moment the lead shows on the My Leads dashboard, you are immediately notified via email, via text message, and displayed on the My KW control panel. While you are receiving these lead notifications, the system is simultaneously sending Sally Seller an introductory email. To facilitate a follow-up, you simply click the My Leads link to access all available contact information for Sally. Using one of the predefined eEdge templates, you send Sally one of the seller reports. Had Sally been a buyer lead, you would have captured the price range she was looking at, which property she viewed, and which she saved. And based on that information, send her listing alerts and recommended listings straight from the tool. Any communication with Sally is saved in her own unique record in my contact, which can be pulled up at any time. To convert Sally from a lead to a listing client, you drop her into the beautifully designed and automated 8x8 program, so she receives regular touches over the following eight weeks. Impressed by your professionalism and regular follow-up, Sally wants you to come over for a listing presentation. In preparation for the appointment, you print and hand deliver a pre-listing presentation direct from my marketing. You then print an eye-catching listing presentation utilizing my marketing. Once you've secured the listing appointment and prepared your presentation, you kick off the listing loop through my transactions. Within the tool, you proactively prepare the listing agreement online web form, grabbing Sally Seller's contact information from my contacts. At the appointment, Sally agrees to the listing and using your iPad electronically signs the contract. Immediately, Sally is added to the loop in my transactions. Now, she will have 24-7 access to all the documents she needs to see during the listing transactional process, including the listing agreement. When it's time to showcase Sally's house, you create your listing-specific marketing package using eEdge's My Marketing. The system provides a wide variety of top-notch, professionally designed marketing tools, including flyers, postcards, and more. Once a buyer makes an offer, you invite the buyer agent into the buying loop of my transaction, where he'll only have access to the forms applicable to him and his client's best buyer. The buyer's agent may then choose to invite his client's best buyer into the loop. Robbie Realtor has the ability to create the offer through online contracts, disclosures, and local forms signing electronically. And if any of the parties in the transaction do not want to sign electronically or utilize online forms, they can always take the more traditional route and print the documents, collect hard copies of the signatures, and then scan them into the My Transaction system for storage and reference. Sally, not quite satisfied with the initial offer, counters through you as the agent and changes are made to the forms online and back to the buyer's agent for Beth Buyer to consider. Beth Buyer accepts the new terms signs electronically. All the way from listing to closing the sale, not a single piece of paper has been created and everything is stored in their respective loops. Your negotiation process has been quick, easy, and highly efficient, and you have a clean, easy to reference revision history, great for compliance, safety, and potentially lower E&O costs. Once all the remaining forms are signed, you close the loop with the incorporated green sheet and submit it electronically to your compliance coordinator for review. The property closes and the completed contract to purchase is stored in your respective loops for seven years. You may then direct any of the parties to the transaction on your website through a client portal at any time throughout the seven years to reference any document. Now that Sally is a past client, you can start her on a 33 touch campaign offered through My Marketing, which allows you to keep in touch with her on an ongoing basis. Further, you can leverage just sold postcards available through My Marketing using Sally's now sold property to generate even more leads, saving you money, time, and energy while increasing productivity and profit, all through one complete, simple, and seamless system, that's eEdge.
Mm. All right. I'm sorry. Okay, one second. All right, so the next step is to get the IDX form filled out. Um, that form, IDX stands for Internet Data Exchange. That form, once it's filled out, you'll take to the board office and um, they will get the MLS um, link, <laughs> I guess you could say, uh, whatever that, that data is, they'll get that link and they will um, send it to Market Leader so that the uh, all of the homes that are in our local MLS will show up on your eEdge website. And that's what will enable um, clients to do home searches. Right now, when you log on to that website, uh, it is initially set up with just the Keller Williams um, properties. Any of the properties that are entered into KWLS will show up um, because that, there, that, that IDX is already set up, that feed's already set up, but the MLS one, there's just the extra step. There is no charge to get the IDX set up once you're a member of the board. Um, you just turn in that application to them and um, they usually get it all taken care of, I think within about five, five to seven days or so. So pretty, not, not too bad, pretty quick. And um, just make sure you go through and initial all the spots that it says client initial and then fill out the middle of the last page um, for uh, your information. KW Mobile App is a very big um, feature that Keller Williams has provided to all of our agents. Um, basically, uh, Keller Williams created a mobile app set up for each individual agent to use. Uh, so uh, every mobile app has a different agent code. I believe I emailed you those agent codes when I sent you the welcome email. And um, the once the once the code is in the app and you share that app, or if you someone downloads the KW app and then enters in your agent code, anytime they search for a home or, or anytime they share their app, uh, all of the information goes back to you. So if they ask to see a home or save a home or request more information or contact agent, anything like that, um, that contact information goes straight to you. I know that other, uh, I've heard, excuse me, I don't know, I've heard that other uh, real estate companies have set up mobile apps. Um, generally, if someone uses it and requests more information or uh, shares it or downloads it, uh, that contact information and lead information goes to the company and then they distribute the leads however they see fit as they do with most everything else. Um, but with this KW mobile app, um, it, once you have it set up uh, and branded with your information, all of the leads and everything from it go straight to go straight to the individual agent. Uh, there are many ways that you can share your um, mobile app. Uh, you can, you know, email email the, the link to your your database, uh, send out flyers, uh, or you can do as Ashley did and put the put the little download information right on the back of the card. Um, but there's all sorts of different ways that you can share your mobile app. Make sure that uh, share the link. Uh, make sure that clients get it and then once it's on your phone you can share it on Facebook text message uh, pretty much you name it uh, once you you can share it straight from inside the app so there is lots and lots of training that you can take for the KW mobile app um, on KW connect so I would highly recommend watching that training and then um, let me know if you have any questions because I can also do a little tutorial on it as well KWLS, as I said, is a system that we have that has Keller Williams listings. Uh, KWLS is a system similar to the MLS, uh, but it is um, slightly different. Uh, it's designed to give agents more control than the standard MLS. Um, however, it's not designed to replace the MLS. It functions as part of an all-encompassing database offers associates the ability to have their listings posted on a variety of websites for marketing and offers a wide range of potential uses. Basically, you can enter in the information. You have to enter it into the MLS um, so that local agents um, and 
buyers know that you have a home for sale or you have a listing, um, but you in, you're encouraged, it's recommended that you enter it into KWLS as well, um, because that information, uh, it allows you to market those listings to anybody that has a KW website, any KW eEdge website. Um, it automatically sends that information to Zillow and Trulia, um, but it sends it differently than the MLS does. The standard MLS feed just sends all of the listings to the property websites and um, the property websites use your information however they see fit and put whatever they want on tack on to your li listings such as you know other agents information contact information that sort of thing uh, when you have a listing and you enter it into KWLS we do have an agreement with um, most of the property websites including Zillow and Trulia that uh, all listings keyed into KWLS uh, automatically belong to the listing agent so they cannot put other agent's information next to the property, they can only put the agent inf your agent information there. Um, Keller Williams, one of their, their philosophies is my listings, my leads. Uh, Keller Williams believes that all agents who have listings and have worked hard to get those listings should get all the leads that come out of those listings. Um, and that was a way to build your database. I have tested this out. Uh, I clicked on one of our agent's properties. I selected request more information and Zillow took all my contact information and immediately sent an email to that agent that said I was interested in looking at this house. So uh, it does work and it does work quickly. Uh, so please make sure when you have listings that you enter them into KWLS just because it does allow you to retain the ownership of those listings as well as the leads that come from those listings. There's also some other handy things that it does um, when marketing, if you want to print up a property postcard or flyer or, you know, market it on your eEdge website, it'll automatically um, take all the information from KWLS and put it into those property postcards or property flyers, that sort of thing as well. So there's a lot of other, other handy uses. And um, as with everything else, there are training videos that you can watch to explain how to use KWLS and uh, the reasons to use it, and those can be found on KW Connect. The Michael Lewis Marketing Suite is a um, added program that the office uses um, and provides for use for our agents. Um, this marketing suite provides um, all sorts of uh, features and options for agents. Uh, the ability to order business cards. Um, there's flyer templates that you can um, use on this website, postcards. Um, there's also a lot of free stuff that you can use. Uh, you can download the, the listing presentation and the buyer's consultation, uh, download the templates for those, and then uh, customize them for your use for um, you know listing and consultation appointments. Um, there's other types of uh, door knocking flyers and different things that um, you can download. Uh, basically though this is all provided to you um, uh, so that you have a way to stand out from other agents in the area. It's all very high-end and um, very streamlined, very nice look, um, very modern. And uh, if you do purchase anything to be printed out, um, such as like the business cards, things like that, um, you'll notice that it does have a very uh, high quality look for fairly competitive prices. And to conclude our orientation, I just wanted to go over um, just some of the stats and things that Keller Williams has achieved. Uh, it's a really quick video. Uh, I will point out that it does say it's from 2013, so this was the year end 2013. Um, they didn't produce one for 2014, but our numbers only increased. So, um, but this shows all the different things that we've done recently and, um, and provided for our client agents. Oops. Sorry, I didn't hit pray.
So since that video was produced, um, we've not only hit number one age account in North America, but we've actually hit number one age account worldwide. We have 112,000 agents worldwide. That map that showed all the little red pieces that were filled in. Um, there's quite a few more red pieces to fill in. Uh, we've recently opened offices in Mexico and um, I believe in Europe, like in, in, in England and um, a few other places. Uh, if you are interested in more information about that, um, you can type in KW Worldwide and it will tell you where all the um, offices are located. And um, what's interesting to note is that um, you know that we have a um, profit share program for agents that um, sponsor agents, other agents to join our company. Um, if you know anybody in other countries that are interested in joining Keller Williams or interested in becoming a real estate agent, you can also sponsor agents in other countries. It doesn't have to just be our market center or even our state. It can be any state, any market center, any country. Um, and then, um, and not only did, were we number one in agent count, um, but we recently received um, top ranks. We got number one in um, all companies for training, providing training services to our um, agents and staff. And um, in 2013, I believe we were just number one in real estate companies, but in 2014, we made it across the board for all companies all types of companies. So uh, lots of big things happening uh, and there's constantly growing and changing. So lots of big things to come as well. Very excited to have you guys a part of that. And um, that pretty much does include, conclude our orientation unless you have any questions for me right now. Okay.